ago. When she celebrated that we had Prince Harry coming to the island. Now, when Prince Harry came down here, he visited the governor's mansion, and his duty was perform the duty of honors on Mother's behalf. He had a lovely time with the island. At one point, you know, protocol is being established. One point he went beyond protocol breach without them not even knowing. He went into the crowd without them knowing. He had three days down here, and one of those days he spent just with the youth groups down on the islands. Now, the what the governor job is down here, what is here to do? He's here to represent the official majesty down on the islands. The queen is head of state, and the governor represent her down on the island, us being one of the Commonwealth nations. Now, Signing all official documents, attending all official function on behalf of the Queen, that's the duty of the governor down the island. Now if you look on the back side here, you're going to see a lot of little backyard farming on the back side here. You're going to see those cucumbers, little vegetables being grown. Now this is what we call a little backyard farming. Now we're going to ride this island today and you're not going to see no factories, no wells, no industrial plants. We don't have none of that. Backyard farming is where you give me one or two of your crops, I give you one or two of my crops. On the left side here, this is one of our government high schools. The government take care of the educational institutions down here, and the government take care of the health care down here. I'm going to break it down and actually show you how the government take care of those. Now, on the right side here is one of our recreation facility. Now, most persons are going to play softball and baseball down on the island. Now look straight ahead on the right side, you see those kids wearing uniform? Mm -hmm. They attend the school that's on top. Every kid on the island, may it be private or government, have to wear full uniform on the island. Now, by this being a recreational institution, softball and baseball is the preferred choice down on the island, but most of us play softball and baseball on a weekend basis. We have a label that's called the old time of softball day, but still playing softball over 40 years old. Now, this is an island which is pretty much a young island. Most of the persons of the islands are under the 65 barrier. Now, most of the younger people of the island are more attracted to the basketball, thus meaning most of the persons want to be Michael Jordan, LeBron James down here, man. Everybody play basketball down here. <laughs> now, we have the recreation facility. We have a lot of social events down on the island, but religion is pretty big down here. It's bad. You're going to find out that if you ever come to this island on any given Sunday, this island shuts down on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. We have a very large religious core down here. Yes. And by having a very large religious core down here, you're going to find out the island shuts down, literally shuts down on a Sunday. 60, and I can say up to 70% of the persons go to church on Sunday. This is one of the Anglican church. Now the Anglican and the Roman Catholic are like sister and brother religions down on the island. And I'm going to point out more denominations as we ride around the island. One of our recreation facilities. Well, most persons are going to play soft. Well, uh, one of our. I'm sorry, the guys who better fought off in the war in the 1800s. Now, this is the Red Cross. The Red Cross is here to assist persons on the island. In the event of the island ever came under uh, the island ever you know, had any disasters, that's what the Red Cross is here for. Now, the local clinic. They're here prior to you having going to the main hospital. Then I could break down from going to the main hospital, local clinic, with supply health care to the local areas. Now, we have a health care system where the government provides free health care down with the island, providing socialized medicine. Now, if you see on the left side, you want to see one or two of the kids uh, wearing uniform right now to attend the school. Now, we have an educational system which starts from preschool. Primary, junior, then senior, high. Most kids graduate at age 16, 17 years old. The highest learning institution after completing high school is COB, College of the Bahamas, where you can enroll up to four year major and a major in. Any over that have to go abroad for university. Now the government is trying to put a university together, but they sell a lot of work that needs to be done down on the island. All on the right side yeah, is the governor's mansion. Now the Bahamas. We are our own independent nation. We gained independence July 10, 1973. But by the Bahamas being a part of the Commonwealth nation, thus, not being a part of the Commonwealth nation, thus, us down on the island, being a part of the Commonwealth and Queen 